As a seasoned observer of celebrity dynamics, I must say that the contrast between Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck is as striking as the bright lights of Hollywood itself. Having followed their careers for decades, it seems they are two peas in a pod when it comes to talent, but night and day in terms of personality. Uh, Jennifer Lopez mentioned unresolvable disagreements in her divorce filing from Ben Affleck, where she also asked that he would not be entitled to alimony given his reported net worth of approximately $150 million. A 55-year-old music legend has recently requested to restore her original family name, a move made only two years following her public declaration of embracing the title Mrs. Affleck and its associated romance. On August 20th, which was their second wedding anniversary, DailyMail.com acquired the complete divorce filing that Jennifer Lopez submitted without legal representation. The date of separation has been formally listed as April 26, 2024. Uh, back in July 2022, it was reported that the pair didn't have a prenuptial agreement when they got married, according to sources. Uh, this is now Jennifer's fourth unsuccessful marriage and Ben's second. On that sky credit. If they don't have a prenuptial agreement, any income they've earned over the past two years from movies, endorsements, or other significant business uh, ventures would be considered shared property uh, in case of a divorce. Okay. What's the difference to, what's the... Uh... Uh, Jennifer, with an estimated net worth of $400 million, has released four movies since getting married to Ben. Among these is her own $20 million production, This Is Me, Now a Love Story, a film that chronicles their renewed love affair. In the year 2023, she debuted her Delola Cocktail Collection. She had plans for a global tour to promote her newest album, titled This Is Me Now, but unfortunately, that tour was called off just prior to its start, allowing her to concentrate more on her family. Uh, Oscar winner Ben, who has a reported net worth of $150 million, has recently starred in the films Air 2023 and Hypnotic 2023. He also recently wrapped production of a sequel to 2016's The Accountant. And to further complicate things, Jennifer and Ben work together on the upcoming film Unstoppable. While well, Affleck is producing the project alongside Matt Damon, Lopez is among the film's stars. So uh, Jennifer is not seeking spousal support and has asked the judge to deny it for Ben as well. According to a new report from People, it was alleged that Lopez also had a hand in getting Affleck to focus more on his kids. The site claimed that the Atlas actress motivated the Argo director to be more family oriented and it fell a complast in bowls. So I got to make this cause five years there, and I saw it, and I saw it and haven't been expected and an income fight board and make sense of seven sawing. Uh, Lopez has twin kids, Max and Emmy, uh, aged 16, uh, who were shared with her uh, former husband, Mark Anthony, uh, whereas Affleck has uh, three children, Violet, uh, Serafina, uh, 15 Samuel, uh, 12 with his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, uh, the way they spent their time with the kids divided them, it was claimed. As a devoted follower, I'd often find myself accompanying J-Lo on shopping sprees and exciting outings with our little ones relishing in their joy and laughter. However, Ben Affleck, on the other hand, seemed to prefer our cozy abode, choosing to unwind at home during our spare time. And the source pointed out that Affleck and Lopez are significantly distinct individuals. And she thrives on being in the spotlight and enjoys socializing while he prefers a quieter lifestyle and appreciates staying at home. Call it Indeed, Jennifer was often seen traveling with the kids as she has a busy schedule. And it's quite possible that she intended to bring along all five kids for her summer trip, originally planned for 2023 but now rescheduled to 2025. Uh, ben may not want to go out as much as he's just not as gregarious as, as Lopez. Uh, uh, during a chat with Kevin Hart this year, Ben mentioned that he's somewhat reserved 
I do have a shy side, he shared with the funny man, and not fighting with his guests. I say this is a pretty serious time that was there, uh, and I was recognizing, and Hart playfully quipped, you have a permanent serious expression. To which Affleck replied, feigning anger? Serious? I don't think so. Uh, one, my facial expression seems calm, but it doesn't reflect my true feelings. Others might be misinterpreting my demeanor because they're attributing emotions to me that I honestly don't feel about myself. Um, it's, it's, uh, currently, it seems that Lopez is said to be feeling both disheartened and sorrowful uh, following her divorce filing with Affleck. However, she acknowledges that it was the right moment uh, for her to take a step forward. In the early 2000s, a well-known celebrity was set to marry an actor from Hollywood named Ben. They had a high-profile breakup, but managed to reunite in 2021. After this joyous occasion, they got married twice in the year 2022. And according to a source, people reports that Jennifer seems to believe now is the perfect moment to embark on a new chapter in her life, citing several factors as her motivation. As a lifestyle expert, I find myself in a position where I must share some insightful observations. I see a woman who is deeply disheartened and sorrowful, yet there's no clear signals from Ben indicating his desire to persist in their marital journey. His actions lack the commitment and enthusiasm required to mend and strengthen their union. Regrettably, she has arrived at a stage where her well-being necessitates self-preservation. Uh, two years ago to the day I submitted uh, the papers for my divorce, a poignant milestone that fell precisely two years after our grandiose second wedding in Georgia, which took place on August 20th, 2022. As an insider shared with the press, this state was not lost on me, Jennifer, as it carried a profound significance. And then she had grown tired of waiting, and the timing of her action suggests a lot, uh, places her in charge of the proceedings. It's benefit that she took this step, that uh, she tried really hard to make things work and is heartbroken. So, uh, continuing the discussion, it was emphasized that the merged family unit has given utmost importance, and this is because, just as in the past, the children hold the highest priority, but uh, the artist, who was also an actress, uh, composed an entire album titled This Is Me Now, which was sparked by their rekindled uh, romantic relationship. She even created movie adaptation of it. Um, and then put all everybody will find it really doing. 